Hello and welcome back. Today is Friday, November 8th. I have your four best bets in the NBA today. That's three player prop plays that I love in one same game parlay. As always, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe down below. It makes me know you like the content. Just takes a few seconds. 13 game NBA slate ahead of us. Two rematches of the NBA Finals, Warriors, uh, Cavs, and then we have uh, <laughs> Heat Nuggets, other rematch of the NBA Finals. Remember that one? We all remember that one. We have some great matchups overall. Rockets versus OKC, Bucks, Knicks, Suns, Mavs, Luka versus the Suns is always awesome television. Pacers, Hornets, today has a lot of closer spreads than normal and a lot higher over-unders as well. So it seems like scoring is going to be a theme. Speaking of themes, we had a theme a few nights ago that was just assisting. Today's theme is point guards. We are point guard theme pod, uh, video to here today. There is one person's line, however, they have yet to release. If you've checked out my Twitter, uh, I am stalking the Scottie Pippen Jr. assist line. So if uh, at this time there's no line for it, but if you see the line, just know or click check the comment section. The top sec comment is going to be my play for it. But I love Scottie Pippen Jr. assist tonight, but they won't release the lines for us. Before we jump into today's four plays that I absolutely love, we have to recap yesterday's action. And yesterday in the NBA, we have going two in one in best bets. Our little Chianti that could, he couldn't get the over for us. I think he finished at three assists. Uh, man, brutal, brutal, brutal for that. Uh, Damian Lillard, thank, thank the Lord, he had seven assists. We had over six and a half. And then Nikola Vucevic uh, was a little nervous going into it. He had the 25-point game. He looked incredible in that game overall. Seven and six on the week, 24 and 23 on the season. Hey, I love it. We've After that, I think it was like a one and four, or one and five star. We've turned it around pretty nicely here. Beautiful day in the NBA, and let's just jump into it for my first best bet of the day. We took him the other day. He's back from injury. He's back in Cleveland, where he was born. Going with Stephen Curry, over 24 and a half points, coming in at minus 120 on DraftKings. Let's jump into it. High over under, 231 over under overall. Uh, Stephen Curry, about last two games, 24 points and 27 points after the slow start to the season. Seems like he's getting back into the groove. And a great way to get back in the groove is having the best matchup for all the point guards on the day. The Cavs allow the most points to the point guard position and the fifth most threes to the point guard position. So Steph Curry has a beautiful matchup here. He's gone this over five for his last five games against the Cavs as well, averaging 33.2 points per game. Love it overall. Steady volume this season, averaging 15 field goal attempts per game. 66% hit rate against the Eastern Conference last year, so good percentage point here. I think this game's going to be a close game overall. Close spread, four points overall. And the Cavs have given up some big games to point guards this season. Back-to-back -back games with Dame getting 35-plus points on them. Uh, Jose Alvarado had 27. Cade Cunningham, 33. They've been bleeding points to the point guard position. And I think Stephen Curry here is going to have a great matchup overall. I love his uh, I love his over of 24 and a half points. For my second best bet, stick into the theme of the video. Point guard, point guards. Knicks Bucks, 223 over under. This over under has definitely come down a few points. But I think this game is uh, going to be a close game. I know the spread seven and a half, But I think the Bucks are going to come out swinging in this matchup. And I think it's a great game to take Jalen Brunson to bounce back this season. Jalen Brunson, over 28.5 points coming in at minus 110 on DraftKings. He's got, like I said, slow start to the season. Two for his last five, averaging 25.8 points per game. Coming off of a bad shooting night last night, I think he bounced back in the great matchup against the Bucs, who allowed the second most points and the third most threes to the point guard position. And Brunson has absolutely killed the Bucks last season. He's gotten this over five for his last six games versus them, averaging 38.3 points per game. He has dominated this matchup. Steady volume overall this season, 20 field goal attempts per game. Bucks have been bleeding points to the point guard uh, position as well. 29 points to Dennis Schroeder, 39 to uh, Darius Garland, 26 to John Moran, and then 21 points to Drew Holiday. I think Jalen Brunson here, I think this game is going to be a closer spread game. I think seven is a little too much. Uh, I, I like Jalen Brunson here to take the load here. He has a great matchup overall. Jalen Brunson over 28 and a half points. For my third best bet and for my final player prop play of the day, going to be in the Rockets OKC matchup here. We took him yesterday and he hooked us by 0.5. I'm back for vengeance here. We're almost Shea Gildress, Alexander, over 27 and a half points coming in at minus 108 on FanDuel. Houston's allowing the 11th most points to the point guard position. 
Mostly love this because of the history. Three straight 30-plus points of games against the Rockets. He's gotten this over seven for his last eight games versus them, averaging 33.3 points per game. Beautiful volume overall. Almost 20 field goal attempts per game this season. Love that. Last season at home, he got this over 81% of the time, averaging 30 points per game. So I think he'll bounce back here at home after a slow start to the season. Only gotten this over four for his last eight games overall, averaging 26 points per game. Last game against the Nuggets, he did get 28 points in that matchup overall. Rockets have well. Giving up some big games to point guard position. Jalen Brunson, 29. Carmelo Anthony, 28. And LaMelo Ball, 34. So some big games overall. High usage rate of 32%. So he's going to have the ball in his hand. He's going to be creating. I like Shade Gilgis Alexander to continue to get overs. Two straight overs for us. Making up for the hook last time. Shade Gilgis Alexander over 27.5 points. For my fourth best bet and for my same game parlay using my fan duel 30% profit boost here, going to be in the Suns-Mavs matchup. I think everyone in the world is going to be taking probably an iteration of this parlay. So have fun today. This is the game to do it. 232 over under. Uh, Kevin Durant, Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker. Three plays here for plus 187 odds. Let's jump into it. Luka Doncic, 30-plus points. He's gotten this over nine for his last 10 games versus the Suns, averaging 33.5 points. Phoenix allows the seventh most threes to the point guard position, so Luka will be taking up plenty of shots overall. Uh, last game, he really wanted the over against the Bulls. He finished the game with 27. I think he took like five or six shots in the second half when it was a blowout already. So he's proven that he wants to get these 30-point games. And I think tonight he bounces back here. Uh, Kevin Durant, 20-plus points, seven for his last eight games this season, averaging uh, 27.8 points per game. Dallas allows the ninth most points to the uh, power forward position, so great matchup overall. He's got this over seven for his last nine versus the Mavs, averaging 25.4 points per game. And then Devin Booker, 20-plus points, six for his last eight the this season. Uh, five for his last five versus the Mavs, averaging 31.6 points per game. Overall, 82% hit rate for Devin Booker last season. Uh, love this spot overall. Three plus plays here for plus 187 odds on Fandle. Using the boost there. Using the boost. Those are my four best bets for you in the NBA today. Like I said at the start, I really want to take these Scottie Pippen assist lines, but they won't release the hounds, man. Release the lines. Let me see these. They only often in first basket on everything, but... Four plays here. Please make sure to check the pin comment if you want to see my other play as the day goes on. Beautiful slate ahead of us. I wanted to get this video out for you uh, early today. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Keep on smiling, and I will see you in the next one.